so many TVs. This is awesome. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Get that good good from Lucky's. 1175 Warren Avenue. Guys, check this out. Portuguese pizza. Zoom in. Oh, uh, yeah. Got the chorizo. We got the onions. We got the peppers. We got the mats. We got it on a nice little thin crust. Little flatbread here. Watch your carbies all the way down the sides here. All from a place called Lucky's in East Providence. Man, I am excited. Happy Monday. Everybody. It's a beautiful day in the city. Guys, welcome back. Familia, how are you doing today? Let's talk about that. How are you doing today? All right, happy Monday again, guys. Lucky's. This is one of those spots, man, that I literally drive by every single time. And I'm just like, I have to try this place. I have to try it. Why won't I go in? I need to try it. Because it's on the way to like all the big box stores where you got to get like detergent and everything is like right there and it's next to a freaking honeydew too it's like on this little uh, guys anyways let me shut up lucky's portuguese pizza um it was the one thing on here that i was like whoa let's try that man chorizo mozzarella peppers and onions let's shut up one minute asmr no talking just eating i'm next to a kind of a busy road i like that it's on a thin crust like flatbread like that You know, I gotta give it that nice little, gotta do that tuck and roll, baby. Everybody, have a blessed life. <laughs> One minute, starts now, let's go. One minute up, guys. That is Dylan. What I was trying to illustrate to you guys was like, I'm wondering if they're sitting in the kitchen, right? They're like, we got to make pizzas for people. Do we want to give them, do we want it to be like a doughy bread? I mean, like a, like a extra, like a thick pizza, sorry, pizza, or do we want to give them more chisel? And I appreciate, I'd rather have a pizza like this all day. Look at that. Look at that. Look how thick that's little tiny dough all chisel down the hatch as you guys know i'm parked in a new location kind of a busy road behind me i forget this is called commercial something it's a street that connects all the uh east providence businesses to uh to seekong mm. but there's things on this menu that I'm definitely, I definitely want to try. I want to try their smash burger. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Steak bomb. I have to try a steak bomb from everywhere. Shepherd's pie. I, I kind of want to try their shepherd's pie. Sometimes I have to be in a way super mood for uh, shepherd's pie too, guys. One thing, um, I was trying to find. I don't know if they have uh, like, um, what do they call that at some of the Irish place? Bang bangers, bangers and mash, bangers and mash. They might only do that like on like um, St. Patty's weekend and stuff like that. But they have like steak and cheese pizza, bacon cheeseburger pizza. Oh my god, pizza pan nachos! Like this is definitely a place. And as you guys saw in that intro video, how how many freaking TVs they had a whole Best Buy in there. Literally, you can go and be like, how much for a TV? Right, well, we got fifty of them, so make us an offer. 
Yeah, but I like this a lot. This is different. Mmm. Yeah, that's all cheese, guys. A little bit of a little bit of dough, all chisel. I appreciate this. Mmm. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. Luke, where's the puppy break? Guys, unfortunately, there's no puppy break today. I was trying to say, just kidding. Check out puppy break. Hey, mama, you wanna say hi to YouTube? You're doing such a good job on all your pups. Oh my God. Look how adorable these little nuggets. This one's looking like a little wolf. Yeah, I'm looking at them. You ready for lunch? Good job, mama. How freaking cute are they? Oh my god, they're getting so big so fast, guys. Pretty soon they're just gonna they're gonna um they're gonna outgrow that that little pull thing. Gonna have to like crate them in somehow. Oh my god. They're easy to handle now, but when they get like bigger and more adventurous. Mm. Like it has enough sauce too. I appreciate a sauce. So like, thank you for putting sauce on this pizza, guys. Mm. Whoa. That's how heavy the pizza is. I gotta rotate. Rotate! There we go. All right. Let's smash this down. Chorizo down the hatch. Also, fun fact. Do you guys want to know a little bit about a little trivia for Lupe? Mm. I'm actually a little bit. I'm a little Portuguese myself. Just a tiny little bit. Enough to buy a flag and to put on a, um, <laughs> enough to buy a flag and, 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 uh, participate in a feast. But, you guys saw me eat Portuguese food during the 100 Days, 100 Restaurants series. Oh, my God. The beef casa. Oh, my God. That freaking sauce. Oh my God. Just for fun, I probably should have ordered, or I don't know if they even have it there, but I probably should have stopped by like Riviera or one of the play old Denise or something and asked him for a little dip dip. <laughs> Be like, can I have the, the sauce? You know what the sauce I'm talking about? Let me get a little dip dip. Mm. Sometimes when you go to these places, right, guys, when you go to these bars, sorry, bars. They have all the TVs. They're there for really so you can watch sports and, all, you know, all that kind of jazz. Food is usually a secondary thing. But what I'm seeing now, at least as, at least on the local level, is a lot of these pubs are stepping their game up. They're saying, hey, it's not just going to be wings. It's going to be this crazy wing. But we're also going to perfect the original wing. And they're not just doing, here's, you know, here's a, here's a burger. No, they're doing, I mean, where's the burgers? I mean, they're putting on like, and not only that, they have a Beyond Burger here. 
so that lets you know how you know how the staff is doing or you know the back of the house they're you know reaching out to everybody but they're not just saying hey here's a regular burger they're doing you know right here grilled angus topped with chunky blue cheese lettuce tomato it's just all these really really good burgers uh look at bacon onion jam on the smash burger that's the one i definitely want to try with special sauce you guys already know i'm saucy so that that's <laughs> that one's definitely on the mix right there so yeah i'm telling you like a lot of these pub pub and grubs they're stepping the the game up on the culinary side of things mm. yeah So make sure you guys check them out. If you're from Rhode Island, we got Lucky's here. Irish Pubble. Pubble. It's a Monday. And by the way, guys, should we do a puppy break number two? I don't know. Do me a favor. Stop this video. Actually, don't stop this video. Just give this video right now a thumbs up. Let's see if we, let's see if we get enough, uh, enough thumbs up to do a puppy break number two. Puppy break number two. Beep it boop. All right, thumbs up. Puppy break number two. Good girl. I'm telling you guys, they become, they're about this big now. They're a side, they're a little bit bigger than a, a, like a, a Chipotle burrito. Loop, it's not Chipotle, it's Chipotle. All right, stop yelling at me. But they're bad, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're getting so big guys so fast. Uh, probably this time next week, they're probably gonna be, the one almost like, was like right here and was like trying to climb over and I was like oh my god I literally have one week left of normalcy before it becomes an absolute zoo in that little room but thank you guys so much that have donated uh for us to buy uh some some gifts uh for when they turn puppies uh make sure you guys support local especially now going into the winter months uh this is when they need it the most and uh we're hoping everything gets back to normal real soon um I'm also trying to put together that program that we had talked about. I'm hoping to try that at least this time, this month. Um, um, that live on location thing that we talked about with a couple other folks. So wish me luck, guys. Take out Thursday. Take out Takeover. Still haven't come up with a name. Uh, let me know which name. That'll be my question for the day. Let me know what, what you guys think. Take out thir hashtag take out Thursdays or hashtag take out Takeover. And remember, we're filming it on a Thursday, but we're going to post it so people can watch it throughout the whole weekend. So that's why I'm leaning more towards Takeout Takeover, uh, where we show up and broadcast live on YouTube and also Facebook Live and just promote the takeout for a, a particular restaurant. A local, re It has to be a local restaurant um, in Rhode Island. Um, and then obviously we'll expand it more as we travel. But yeah, guys. Delicious pizza, indeed. Lucky's East Providence. I love you guys so much. Thank you for 3,600 subscribers. We're on our way to 3,700. We're definitely on the road. And until next time, guys in the city. City. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here, guys. It's a Monday. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Stay local. Hey, foodie fam. Today's final thought is going to be a quick one kind of self-explanatory we're on our way right we're on our way to a new year we're on chapter one right chapter one of this beautiful year that we can make whatever we want it to be you are not confused about what to do okay you are not actually confused about what to do you just need the courage to do what you know is right my thing is 
you can't try to manage other people's emotions. You just can't. That is going to be a perilous task. So you can't try to manage other people's emotions when making a decision that's right for you. Okay? Again, you're not actually confused about what to do. You just need the courage to do what you know is right. Don't try to manage other people's emotions when making a decision or decisions that are right for you. So stay strong. Hashtag forward is our mantra this year. And I love you and have a great day.